Well, Achievers, today has finally arrived. We've listened to your feedback, we heard your guys' thoughts, and today we're gonna to be releasing two new products that are geared around service and appointment scheduling. So many of you guys are in the construction industry, spas, pet grooming, different service organizations and businesses that you asked us and said, hey Brandon, can you give us a way not only that we can help manage our own appointments and schedules, but also help fulfill the service needs of the employees that are working with us. And today guys, we're gonna be introducing the appointment book as well as the appointment tile. These two products are gonna be revolutionary for those of you that are in the service business. It doesn't matter if you're styling hair, grooming pets, doing snow plowing, these are all different organizations that are gonna benefit from this tool. It's a digital notebook that you can take with you, you can schedule your appointments, you can recall your customer information, you can track the performance, you can even show proof of performance that you did the job. And these tiles are gonna help you customize your experience in this digital notebook. So guys, let's dive into this one because I'm excited to share it with you. All right, I know a few of you are wondering, what is a digital notebook in the first place? Well, a digital notebook is something that you can use across different applications and devices. Today, we're gonna to be showing you this product with OneNote using an Apple computer and an iPad. We're also gonna show you this on an Android device. You can carry this digital notebook across all of your Windows devices, Apple devices, and Android devices, and it even works on some e-paper devices with OneNote. And all of those notes will synchronize across all those platforms. We're also gonna make this available for those that use PDF annotation apps, like GoodNotes, NoteShelf, Nobility, and even those that use e-paper devices like the Onyx Box. Books, I always say box, but it's books. But here's the reality, why is that so important? Why are we first showcasing this here with OneNote? What I wanna tell you about OneNote is a universal application. So if you're gonna expand this into your organization and business, and you wanna share this digital appointment book with the colleagues that you work with, prime example, say you're in a hair salon business or a pet grooming business, and you have multiple chairs or multiple individuals that are all kind of contributing to the organization's success, and you each have your own calendar, well, you guys also each have your own devices. So instead of making you all get new devices to work with our system, by using OneNote, you can take your existing devices and utilize it and get started today. So this digital notebook, this appointment book, is gonna allow you to go ahead, take that paper notebook that's been sitting out there on your desk for so many years and be able to toss that and go to something digital. And what is the benefits of having a digital appointment book? One, easily search for notes. How many times has someone called you and said, hey, I have an appointment, I'd like to change it? Well, and they don't remember when the appointment was. So you're sitting there going through pages and going through pages and scanning lines and trying to find their appointment. And then what happens, you gotta race out the area and then draw in a new area and race out an area and put in a new uh, text on who's in that appointment. Or you can use whiteout or whatever the story is. And after some period of time, that appointment page gets pretty cluttered. Well, with a digital appointment book, you can easily go in, you can search for your different appointments. So if you wanna search for the dog Lucky, if it's handwritten notes, or if you wanna search for the dog Hudson, if it's typewritten notes, you can easily do that. And then from there, you can take your lasso tool, you can copy it and move it to another section or another date and time. What's also really cool about this digital appointment book, it allows you to keep records of all the previous appointments that you've had with an individual. So if you have a dog like Hudson, who's my pet that I've had with us for 15 years, he's a sweet little, Yorkie and we love him so much. But the idea here is sometimes I take Hudson and get his haircut and sometimes my wife take Hudson to get his haircut. My wife definitely remembers what his haircut is. I, on the other hand, often forget. Well, with this type of digital notebook, you can keep records of what you did, the service itself, any notes that you wanted to make. He, he gets a little kind of worked up when you trim around his ears. He doesn't like that. So it's very important for the beauticianist or the pet groomer to know that, hey, put a little note there. He doesn't like being trimmed around his ears. He gets a little sensitive to that. But also you can add pictures. So you can take a picture of the pooch and put it right there on the page each and every time you cut. Now that's what's so cool about a digital appointment book is being able to do all that. 
Well, if you're in a service business, say you own a snow plowing company like I have in the past, so many times people call you at nine o'clock in the morning after you've already went home and they say, hey, did you plow my lot? And I'd be like, yeah, we were there several hours ago. Well, it snowed since then, or maybe there was a drift or whatever the case is. With this digital appointment book, your crew can get out of the truck, take a picture, of that lot, the way it looked at that time, put in a service log, and then there's no questions. You got a date stamped artifact that shows you proof of performance. So I'm excited to show this to you guys. So let's dive in and show you how you can actually work with this digital planning tool. The first thing to note is when you go ahead and purchase our planner, you're gonna get a download link as well as instructions on how to import this into OneNote or import this into PDF if that is the application you choose to, to use. Inside here, you're gonna see this is my iPad. I'm using OneNote. You can see I have the key to success appointment book right here. You can see the individual tabs for the month, tiles, and clients. And I'm gonna take you through each. Under the tile, which is also available as an individual product purchase, or it comes with the appointment book, you're gonna get these tiles. Here is one tile that is about individual information. And I can tap on that tile, and that gives me the ability to cut, copy, delete, and so forth. If I ever want to use this tile, I can go ahead and hit copy, which I'll show you in a minute. And then from here, I have my additional tiles. These are all different tiles that you can utilize to personalize your planner. Now, the next page you'll find is a client template. If I go ahead and tap on here and hit paste, that tile from the previous page is now placed on here. And then from here, I can go ahead and choose to set as background. As soon as I set that as background, I have the ability to go ahead and type over that tile as well as write on that tile. And at any time that I want to move this tile again after I have set as background, I can easily right click on it and take that checkbox off across my desktop application. Anytime if I wanna use the lasso tool, I can lasso that tile, select it and move it as well. So we have this template board that you can use to personalize your individual pages. And if I want to remove that tile, I can do so by hitting delete. So all of these tiles here are going to allow you to personalize your page. Now we went ahead and we've created a couple pages for you as templates. First one here is a client template page that has information about the client, an area for notes, and then those service logs that we talked about. And these service logs you can see here show information about the client, the provider, the time, the date, and some general information, as well as a space for you to take notes. And then this area where you can upload photos, which I'll show you here in a minute. So you have this client page, and then you have a service log, which is basically an extension or continuation of this client template page. What you'll often see people do is they'll have a default client page, and then they'll list several service log pages as they continue to work with that customer. Now we also have an appointment log. So this is slightly different. If you're more of in a business like being an attorney or you're in a business where you just take notes on your appointments, your calls and your follow-up, this page is great for you. Again, same information that you can gather about the customer and then an area where you can gather information about your appointments. This is really key for those that are in the sales industry. And then we have the appointment log and again, this is a page that you can use to expand on all those different appointments. Now, when we go into a particular month, you're gonna see that we have individual week at a view pages for the entire week at a view, and you can go ahead and utilize this. And that is for each month throughout the year. And then under clients, you have the ability then to copy these pages and go ahead and choose if this was gonna be a client under AB or AD, now you can see that I pasted that client page there. I can then tap on it and go ahead and rename it by just going here and changing the text. And when I change the text up here, I'm gonna put ABC Salon, that'll change the name over here. And if for whatever reason I want to reorganize that, I could tap and hold and I can move that up in here so it's alphabetically sorted. So that is a quick look at the actual book that you're going to get. And now I'm gonna show you a little bit of information on how you can personalize it or how we've personalized it for 
the pet spa business that we've talked about a little bit. So looking here at our desktop, you can see we have an example of this page and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new customer. So I'm gonna go into my appointment tile and I'm gonna go ahead and pick customer template. And I'm gonna go ahead and right click, and hit copy. From there, I'm gonna go into this page here and I'm gonna hit paste and that's gonna put down my client template. Now here, I'm going to change the name of this to be Lucky ABC Family making that name up as we go, but you'll get the idea here in a second. Now, let's just say Lucky was going to have a service with us. I go ahead and I could right click on Lucky's name and click copy link the page. And I'll show you in a minute how you can do that on the iPad as well. I can copy link the page. I can go into our schedule for March. And let's just say he would want to have his appointment on Thursday at 9 a.m. I can go ahead, click on 9 a.m. and then right click and hit paste. And then I can go ahead and just update that to show that it's Lucky. And now what happens is Lucky is in the planner. Now I can go ahead and bring my mouse over top Lucky here and I can click on that and that'll actually take me right back to Lucky's page. Now I talked to you before about searching. Well, if we wanna go ahead and search for the word Lucky, I can do that. And generally what it takes is about 24 hours for one note to index everything you type in. And you can see I have the word lucky here on this page, which is highlighted here, March 13th through the 19th. I go here and you can see that it's highlighted there and you can keep going through. And these are all the different pages that I wrote the word lucky on. Now we can see Hudson is there as well. And we can go ahead and we can search and there the word Hudson comes up. Now, what about this word spot? Let's just see if that'll pull up spot. In most cases, it'll also pull up any handwritten text. So you can easily go ahead and handwrite. So if you don't want to use hyperlinks and you want to use this as really the digital notebook and copying the links, but still have the client pages, you're more than welcome to do that. The hyperlinks just gives you an added feature. So that is how it looks on here. And I can jump back into these particular pages in these tiles and easily grab them. Now let's look at the iPad, same scenario. I have the iPad here. Well, I'm just gonna expand in these notes a little bit. You can see the iPad is already synced over from the Windows or desktop version. Let's just say I wanna go ahead and I wanna put that in there. I can do that and block off that space. I could put a box around that if I chose to. And what's also really cool about OneNote is I could also even change the color and thickness. So say if I wanna do it orange, I wanna make it real thick. I could go ahead and I could do that and put a box around that. I can also use a highlighter tool and do that as well. And I could highlight over top of the link. Now I mentioned before about hyperlinks. Well, if I click on text mode and tap on the word Hudson, this hyperlink will pop up. If I click on open, it then again will take me right to that page. And here with Hudson, you can see on here, I had that note section. Uh, before but he doesn't like being trimmed around his ears and here's a photo of his latest groom and i can see that his next appointment is going to be scheduled on march 14th this previous appointment was on january 23rd why was that highlighted and why was that selected well because if i go back to the appointment page that was the day of his appointment so one thing that's really cool that you can do with your desktop version of your planning system so let's just say I wanna have an appointment for Hudson at 3.23, and it's gonna be at, say, 9 a.m. And then I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna select this, and I'm gonna hit copy, link the paragraph. And if I go back to March, and I pull up the 23rd, and the 23rd would be here at 9 a.m., I can go ahead and hit paste, and that puts that date. Now I'm just gonna go ahead, quickly right-click on that, hit edit link, and I'm gonna change the display text to Hudson B. Now, what happens when I click on this here, it'll actually take me to the service log and it'll pull up the service log that I used in reference to this page. And that's a good way so that you can identify the individual appointment time with the individual service. Now, let's just say I wanna go ahead and add a photo. And let's just say I was in that service log and we talked about this before. If you are someone in a snowplow business, I can pull up on my phone I can go ahead and take a picture of that driveway that's been plowed or that street that's been salted. I can drop in that picture right into my phone 
and then it'll go ahead and it'll sync to the cloud. Maybe if you're in a glass repair company and you wanna go ahead and take a picture of the new glass that you installed, you could easily do that and that would search into the picture. Well, how do you do that? Well, under the service log here, especially on my iPad, if I'm jumping in my truck and I'm pulling out my iPad, I can go into here and I can type insert, choose pictures, or I could choose ca uh, camera. And in this case, I'm gonna pull that picture of the glass and insert it and hit done if I didn't wanna crop it. And now what I can do is I can go ahead and resize that picture and I can pull that picture right inside that area of where I'm gonna show that service log of what I did. So that is a prime example of how you can go ahead and add in that information as you're using it. Guys, when it comes to a digital appointment book and it comes to being able to get your life in order, not only plan the services and the appointments that you're doing, but organize yourself so that your tasks have a place in your planning system, this is the digital appointment book that's gonna do it for you. It doesn't matter if you're using OneNote or any PDF annotation. Maybe you're already an existing user of our Key to Success Planner and wanna use the tile that's available today, you can do that and you can start taking your organization, your service-based business, and start digitizing it. So now you have organized notes. You're gonna find efficiency, create productivity. You're also gonna be able to have better notes and care for each of your customers. If you learned one thing out of this video, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, like it so somebody else can find it. And if you have questions, by all means, jump into the comments, go ahead, ask us, someone in the community or myself will get back to you about this or any digital planning. And if you wanna learn more about our planner, go ahead, check out the description. There's a link in there and you can learn more. I'm Brandon Bonderfer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planner. And Lord willing, guys, we'll see you again in the next video.